Arkansas. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, good evening, sweet girl. I love that. Merry Christmas to you all. Happy holidays. And if I don't see you before January 1st, I'm wishing you all a very happy new year. Like the person just said before me, my name is Marlisa Goldsmith, and I'm one of the evening anchors at THV 11 here in Little Rock. I am honored, so honored to be here serving as your MC tonight as we kick off the holiday season. Thank you so much to Secretary of State Thurston for the invite. I greatly appreciate it. This evening, if you haven't been keeping track, it marks the 83rd anniversary of the Capitol Lighting Ceremony. And so I would like to thank all of you all for coming out here today. Thank you for making it out. It wouldn't be what it is each year without you all, and I would be remiss if I did not say hello and say thank you for my family, my friends, my colleagues for supporting me tonight, and for all of you all for showing up and braving the conditions. We missed the rain, thank goodness for tonight. And now to officially welcome you all to your state capitol, it is my pleasure to introduce you to Arkansas Secretary of State, Mr. John Thurston. Well, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. It is so good to see everybody this year. Um, you know, last year we had the lighting, but we didn't actually have this um, program due to the challenge, challenging year that we all faced last year. So I'm so happy to see everyone here tonight. So I want to welcome you to the Arkansas State Capitol Christmas Lighting Celebration. I would like to thank some special guests who are here tonight joining us. We have 2nd District Congressman French Hill, who is here with his family. We have Treasurer Dennis Milligan, State Treasurer Dennis Milligan. We have the Commissioner of State Lands, Tommy Land, I believe is here. Maybe he hasn't got here yet. It's a pleasure to have you all here with us. Uh, this annual event is special for all our Kansans. The tradition of lighting the Capitol began in 1938, when then Secretary of State Crip Hall began this time honoring tradition as a gift to the children at Children's Hospital just across the interstate. He himself suffered um, from polio as a child and wanted to help lift the spirits of children suffering from life-threatening illnesses. Not only did he lift their spirits, but as a leader, he showed empathy, kindness, and joy to these children in their time of need. In honor of this tradition, we light the entire Capitol building so it is visible from Children's Hospital tonight. Right now, at Children's Hospital across the uh, interstate, there are children right now gathered at the windows watching this event and waiting for the fireworks and the lighting of the Capitol. There has been a few years uh, that the Capitol did not shine in Little Rock during Christmas. In 1941, our country suffered a devastating bombing during the attack on Pearl Harbor, bringing us into the World War II. As our country fought with allies, the Capitol was not lit in 1943 and 1944. The threat of the Axis powers prevented it, and our democracy and safety were at risk. In 1986, one day before the 45th anniversary of the attack on Pearl Harbor, Secretary Bill McEwen first share, shared the peace lights above the bronze doors, which, which will be lit at the end of the program. The word peace continues to illuminate our state capitol building during the holidays, always reminding us of the precious goal that we all share for peace in the world and to love our neighbors. So tonight, Let's celebrate Christmas, family and friends, and Merry Christmas to everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Secretary. Now to help us get in the spirit of the season, I want you all to please welcome the St. Mark Baptist Church Choir.
23rd Annual Arkansas State Capitol Lighting Ceremony. Thank you to Pastor Iverson Jackson, Catholic High's ROTC, and Megan Earnhardt for leading the crowd in the invocation and salute to our country. More of the ceremony and a special visit from Santa Claus next. tonight as always the Little Rock Convention and Visitors Bureau and the Angela Rogers Group had a successful big jingle jubilee holiday event and this year they did something a little bit different. They held a street fair giving Central Arkansas residents an opportunity to really come together and celebrate the holidays just as they have for 50 years and we truly thank them for that. Also are there any elected officials with us tonight who have not yet been recognized? If so, I'd like you to stand up, raise your hand, give us a wave. I can only see so far, so just in, case, just in case I'm missing some of you all, thank you all for being here tonight. We truly appreciate it. Now, Secretary, is there someone else we're supposed to be introducing? Who could that be? I think it's time for Santa Claus. Santa. You're watching the 83rd Annual Arkansas State Capitol Lighting Ceremony. In just two minutes, the switch will be flipped by our friends at Easter Seals, Arkansas. representatives to help us turn on the Christmas light. Easter Seals Arkansas is a nonprofit organization that provides services to people with disabilities and their families. Located right here in Little Rock, they operate statewide and last year served thousands of Arkansans. Now their mission is simple, it's to help children and adults with special needs truly achieve higher levels of independence. So please visit their website for us, EasterSealsAR.com. Now it is my absolute pleasure to introduce you to this year's Easter Seals representatives. We have Michael, Peyton, who are you stand up? Sarah, Zoe, and Octavia. Thank you all so much for being here. So now I would like you all to go ahead and get over to the switch and you're gonna help Secretary Thurston start the show. Is everybody in place? Okay, you all ready for the countdown? All right, join in with me. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. Thank you for watching THV 11 to see the 83rd Annual Arkansas State Capitol Lighting Ceremony. When we come back, an incredible fireworks show that you won't want to miss.
Cool.